Thank you, Sam. I like to be known that way. All right, we have a great treat for you now. Kira Knightley. When you talk about her, there are almost too many avenues to flattery. You have her looks, you have her charm, and what I like best, her versatility as an actor. No wonder you got an Oscar nomination. The new film is Atonement. I have to tell you, it is such an interesting story. You start off three characters mainly, right? Yeah. It's supposed to be a love story, but it gets thwarted. Yes. What an interesting storyline. Tell me a little bit about it. It's been a, I mean, for me, I think the film is about the, the tragedies that occur when the line between fact and fiction is blurred. Because yes. I think you, you follow a character that's got a very overactive imagination. And, uh, and she accuses somebody of something. And, um, and lives get, get taken in the wrong direction. So it, it's, a, it's a tragedy, but it's a beautiful one. It is. You know, I think that's a, a nice way to put it, because so often in life we talk about what happens when you do the wrong thing, how yeah. you make up for it, and sometimes the punishment is even worse when nothing happens, when it doesn't get exposed. Now, interestingly, your character starts off as somebody who's not that likable, if that's, if no, that's fair think, to say. I think that's fair but enough. But she winds up becoming very sympathetic. Yeah. Difficult to do as an actor to manipulate the character that I way? I loved it completely. I mean, I, I completely fell in love. I play Cecilia Tallis, and, um, and as soon as I read the script and the book, I totally fell in love with her. Because I think, you know, I, I don't think that she's, she's a bad person. I think that she, she's just behaving rather sort of brattish at that particular point. And, and I don't know, I thought, I thought she was completely fascinating. I love the versatility. You make someone unsympathetic sympathetic. Also in this, intriguing to me, you do have a steamy love scene in this movie. We do. How does that, how do you handle that as an actor? I've always wondered. Well, I mean, it, it's always rather difficult. I think a lot of times in films, love scenes can be rather gratuitous. Mm. Um, but this one, uh, it's in the book as well. And it's sort of, it's, it's one of the most important scenes in the film. And it had to be incredibly passionate because you kind of have to believe that these two characters wait for each other for five years. So we talked about it a lot. Um, I'm, I'm friends with the director, Joe Wright. I don't know if that made it easier to do the love scene in front of him, um, but, but <laughs> you know, I, 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 think it, I think it works. I think it's a very dramatic scene, and you just get on with it, I suppose. <laughs> That's exactly what you have to do. We have a little clip here of the movie. Don't you know? Yes, I know exactly. The morning version, but you I can know, see it's a bit this. Early for all of that, isn't it? I know it? that's right. Well, that part's okay. <laughs> I got that's, a bit worried. There yeah, are children over there. No, no, no. It was never in doubt. It was never in oh, doubt. Oh, good. <laughs> now, the last time we spoke, you were on the island of Dominica and you were shooting the Pirates of Caribbean, and then yeah. everybody was saying, "Oh, she handled this so well. She's like one of the guys. She gets in there. She does some of her own stunts." Yeah. Now, on this movie, couldn't be more different. But no. you hear the same type of compl compliments. Oh, it was very natural for Kira. She got in here. She's just like one of the crew. It was great. She fit right in, easy. How do you make that transition? I don't know. I suppose it's, it, I love change. I think that's what really excites me about being an actress. I love the opportunity to kind of do a film like Pirates of the Caribbean, which is all stunts and action and, and great fun, and then going to something that's dramatically and emotionally very challenging like Atonement. I think if you possibly can do that, then, then that's a very privileged position to be in. The moods of the different characters, you know, you see it in Pirates, certainly you see it in this. Do you play to a little of that naturally? Is there a little bit of moodiness in there? I think so, probably. A little bit? Yeah. You can get Not this it. morning. I think I'm all right. No, you're okay so yeah. far. That's why I had the chairs moved a little bit more. Oh, apart good. Than yes, usual, you should. Just in case, just in case I got a sword. Yes. And what's, that, to... what's about that question? A little. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not good morning TV. No, either. it's not, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you do beautifully in it. I wish you every success. Thank Always nice much. to have you on here. Thank you. Good luck. The movie is Atonement, and you can get out there and see it. Now, when we come back, though, the woman who lost 500 pounds.